So according to YouTube, I lose more than half of my viewers the first 30 seconds. Because of that, I'm going to make this tutorial in under 30 seconds, of course. So you made your suspension and it fails you. So what you do, you slap on some more suspension and it looks something like this. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> or this. <laughs> No worries, Banner's here to help you. We are gonna make this suspension. Let's get a timer going. Let's start with the block of your choice. Curve piece, curve piece, suspension, suspension, curve piece, curve piece. Bearing, bearing, deep piece, deep piece. Add some straight pipes, some more straight pipes. Don't forget to weld them. Curve piece, bearing, curve piece, bearing, curve piece, bearing, curve piece, bearing, curve piece, bearing. A wheel, and another wheel, and done. Nice. And just like that, you have a cheap and easy to make independent suspension system. Yeah, <laughs> boy. So, are you here? Okay, so for the people that stayed and watched this video, now we're gonna get into the real tutorial on how to make this independent suspension system that is good for off-roading. I got a lot of good comments about my buggy's suspension. They liked the flex. And also some people mentioned they wanted to know how you make this kind of suspension. It's cheap, it's uh, easy to make and it really works well. As you can see it flexes very nice on the terrain. I'm not even looking where I'm going, it just goes pretty straight on. And it jumps over things like this. So I'm going to show you in this tutorial on how to build this suspension system. It won't take long, so see you in the next clip. As you can see guys, we are back in creative mode. This is where I'm going to show you on how to build the actual independent suspension system. The one I'm using on my buggy and on my miner. What you start with is a block of your choice. It can be anything you want, depending on the vehicle that you're going to build, of course. Or you can attach it to your existing vehicle, doesn't matter. Any case, this is just for demonstration purposes. You start off with a curve piece that is pointing downwards. Then you attach the suspension. You can use the smaller suspension, but as this is an off-road suspension, I advise you to use the big ones. After that, you take another curve piece, point it outwards, then a bearing on top of that. And then you take a T-piece. And then you start off with some uh, straight pieces. Then you take a pipe piece, a curved one of course, downwards, then another bearing for your turning, another curved piece, and then a bearing once again. And here is your wheel that attached to it, and you repeat the same process on the other side. Again, curved piece, bearing, and wheel. And that's, that's it, that's the independent suspension system, all done. You can slap that on your vehicle, weld it, oh yeah. If we're talking about welding, you gotta weld these pieces together because if you don't do that, they will just uh, separate from each other once you uh, put it off the lift. And this is a vehicle I made a while back in creative mode. It uses the independent suspension system. The only difference here, it has an uh, advanced steering mechanism at the front to make the steering mechanism a lot stronger, but uh, it stays the same. The independent si suspension system just is the same. So. Basically on how this works, you will see the vehicle in action. Let's try and find a decent spot to demonstrate this. But yeah, let me drive over this here very slowly so you can see the car. And as you can see, the suspension turns, but the vehicle stays rather straight. And this is very good for off-roading. I hope this tutorial helped you guys out on getting a better suspension for your off-road vehicles or your vehicle vehicles in general because this works just fine. Uh, but yeah, I know there's a lot better suspensions out there, but this is the best bang for buck you can get in my opinion or my experience that is. It's cost efficient uh, and it's easy to make and it doesn't lag out that much as the bigger uh, suspensions do. But before we end this video, a quick shout out to Lemon. He has tried to calculate how many spines we had at the last episode. The amazing tower with spines that we dropped in all of our collectors in our survival playthrough. So thank you Lemon once again. That being said, thanks for watching. If this was helpful for you, please consider slapping that like button and or subscribing to my channel. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.